Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Casey, also known as the Carolina Thrifter here on YouTube. Hey guys, in today's video, it's gonna be a what sold video. I did have a really good weekend of sales, so I wanna share it with you. I normally bring a Monday yard sale haul video, and I did go yard selling this weekend, and I had a massive haul, and I used my GoPro. One of the yard sales was my GoPro Hero 7, so I'm kinda of new with it, so I want to spend some time and hopefully make a really decent video from the yard sale it should be two videos so anyway guys if you like today's video please hit the like button and if you want to subscribe to the channel i usually bring at least two videos a week and the next two videos should be yard sale videos once i get them edited and figured out so be looking forward to those but anyway guys let's get into what sold this will be 10 items that i sold over the weekend for some decent profit and a good amount of money so let's get into it all right guys so if you're new to my channel if you've never seen a what sold video from me basically what i'm gonna do is just tell you where i got the item from how much i paid for it and then here in the screen here, I'll give you the sold comp of what it went for. So the first item I sold was a Medicus 5 iron. So this club here, I do pick up if I ever see it pretty cheap or I can get in a bulk buy. I know it sells between $30 and $40. This one went for $37.50 plus shipping. And I got in that bulk deal at the last yard sale that I went to. So pretty good profit. Next item I got, this is called a Ping K15 5 wood. I actually got this from a Play Against Sports. They had this thing on clearance for 50% off. I probably got like maybe 10 bucks into it and it sold for $70 plus shipping. It's a newer model golf club, so anytime you get something newer like that, it will sell pretty high. All right, guys, next I got, this is a pair of golf shoes. It's a Nike Air Golf Tiger Woods. Um, I got this in a bulk buy about a month ago and I finally listed it, but anytime you get Tiger Woods, you know, golf cleats, they sell very well, especially around this time right now since it is in golf season. I got these, like I said, pretty much for free right now and I sold them for $45 plus shipping. Next item I got, I found at an estate sale probably about, I don't know, two or three months ago. I did feature it in a video. This is called a Sklitz little stocking beanie cap. I paid, I think, two or three bucks for it. And I did finally sell it for $30 yeah, thirty dollars with free shipping. So not too bad. I was hoping to get a little bit more, but $30 free ship, that's about where they sell at. Next item we got up is a Callaway VFT X Hybrid. This golf club normally usually sells for like 20, 30 bucks used. But it was new, still sealed in wrapper. I had it on I had it on eBay I think for eighty dollars and I had a price tag because it's new but it ended up going for fifty I think fifty nine fifty five dollars plus shipping and this was a part of my big bulk deal from last week so a lot of stuff selling off really fast and getting my money back out of it and some profit all right guys next up we got some ping this is a ping ISI K I'm sorry ISI black dot nickel two iron this two iron I actually got from Josh Varnell which is also known as Harry Tornado here on YouTube. Um, he's a reseller and I got this from him for $15 plus shipping. I did reach out and tell him it was worth more I think he was just doing me a favor. I want to try it out I did put it on a video where you can see me hitting the club. It wasn't too popular of a video, but that's okay But if you do see the gold writing on a pin club, it's worth more money and this one sold for $89.99 I was $25 in it with Josh and I made probably around around 40 bucks in profit So pretty good sale next item I got is a Seymour putter Seymour is a really good brand to pick up if you ever see it. You only will see this on putters. Um, really cool putter too. I did try it out. It's a women's putter. It was measured like around 32 inches. Um, not my style of putter. It's center shafted, but they always sell great. I picked this up in a yard sale. Yeah, a yard sale pickup last week for I think 20 bucks, and I sold the putter itself for $70 plus shipping. All right, next up we got is a Ping Zing Orange Dot Iron Set. This is the regular first version of the Ping Zing sets and they still sell very well. If you ever get the Ping Zing 2s, they sell even better, but this set still sold pretty well. I picked these up in a bulk deal golf clothes for I think $50 and I sold the set itself for $125 plus shipping. Next up we got some Ping Zing 2 putter. I can say anything Ping Zing is always a good brand to pick up. Or Ping's a good brand to pick up, but the Zing and Zing 2, very popular amongst collectors and golfers themselves. They still use these and they're made probably back in the 90s. This putter went for $45 plus shipping, and it was a part of that big buyout from last week's, or that yeah, week or two ago in that yard sale footage. All right, guys, also sold this Ping putter. This is a Ping STR Benny Nickel putter. Very rare. I, I didn't know how much I was gonna get for it. I was asking $500, plus, you know, with free shipping. But I, there was no sold comps, and someone was asking $500 for theirs, but this is the left-handed version. There's kind of no way to value this. But it has the the gold writing in the center, and I've always told told people that if you ever see gold writing in the center of a pin club, it's made of nickel. It's worth a lot more money. So in this case, it was. I ended up getting two hundred fifty dollars in free shipping. 
I'm okay with that. I did want to get at least 300, but the buyer reached out. We talked. He was very happy with the purchase. So $250 free shipping, and that's, I think that was all profit because it wasn't a big bulk deal I bought about two months ago. Hey guys, so my last item that I got here on my top 10 from last, for this weekend's sales was a Odyssey Dual Force Rosie One Tri Putter. So why I call this a Tri Putter is because the actual putter grip will come up to like your triceps. So it's very long. This was about 48 inches in length. Anytime you see a putter like that, I would pick it up. Uh, they're very popular amongst golfers. And this one sold for $70, $75 plus shipping. And I did get that in that big bulk deal last week. So um, pretty good sale there. Anyway, guys, that's the end of today's video. I do appreciate y'all watching. If you got some great value out of today's video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to subscribe to the channel for more content, I am going to bring at least, I think, two yard sale videos this week. I just, I'm trying to figure out the program and it's under construction. So guys, bear with me on that. But I do appreciate you watching the What Sold today. And we'll see you on the next one. See you.